and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I am Rado. Stop playing with fire. I'm the sublime. What? That's what the letter said on Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Special K, and tonight we're going to be doing a Kona Brewing Beer. We have a Cocoa Brown Ale. It is a Cocoa Brown Ale brewed with coconut, toasted coconut. I was going to say, wasn't it like toasted? This is only the second coconut drink that we have tried on See, the show. See, the thing is, I have like five coconut beers in the refrigerator. I just haven't wanted to do them. You know, it's I can coconut. understand that. It, it Coconut seems like a strange thing to put with beer. Is that just me? I love coconut. Maybe the toasted coconut. I don't even like coconut like that, that much. I love coconut. coconut I don't like the texture favorite. of coconut, but I like the flavor of coconut. It's my favorite so. nut, and it's Radar's favorite thing to put in his mouth. Coconut? You know no, I'm not a huge no. fan of coconut, honestly. You know, how much, you know how much he loves to put nut in his mouth. Um, actually. I don't really get uh, the uh, coconut in there. Do you it not? smells like a brown ale, though. It just smells like, yeah. Oh, Pretty wow, that's... It doesn't look at how have... light that is. I was not expecting it to be that oh, light. Oh, shit. Yeah. Kona, Kona uh, brewing beers, they're always kind of very light in flavor. Um, you know, it doesn't smell like... You know how you can oh. get like, your, your brown ales and stuff that are from, like, the Europe? And they're the skunky. The Europe? <laughs> yeah, this one is from the Hawaii, and it's not the skunky as much. You know what? That's uh, got a little bit of coconut in it. Can you not, can you, nah, can you yeah, not get that? The head is kind There's of some type of sweetness. Maybe it, it smells like a Samoa a little bit on the, the end of the smell. A Samoa? Like the Girl Scout cookie? Like the girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. The toes of coconut, yeah. You definitely get it in the flavor. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little bit. It's very just light. A, just, just a very little mm -hmm. sort of flake. A flake of coconut fell Like, I want to call it buttery, but that's not quite right. It's just like that smoothness that coconut has. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, this beer is very light, almost watery in the mouthfeel. Um, it's lightly bready, a nice and coconut, a tiny bit of bitter. It's very drinkable for what it is. That is pretty drinkable. Uh, I feel like it would sl you would have to slow down for about a half bottle. Like, you wouldn't be able to pound down a whole one of these and then start another one right away. Huh. This is weird. Hmm. It's not uh, bad though. I, no, I like it. It's no, easily drinkable. It's, it's a good beer. Good. It's like all their other beers are kind of kind of watery and light and watery and kind of drinkable. Flavor is like, it's there, it's just not super, super prominent. I don't know the ABV on this. I will put it in the description. You think it's because below. they have a permanent summer that, they, that all of their beers are like this? I mean, it would make oh sense because God. it's always warm there. Like, I mean, like, that seems like a good reason. Why did he have... I, I had the least amount of beer and you poured the rest into his glass. He must have been here the most amount of time. That's fair. Because you no, actually, to, he's been you here have the most to go amount to school. of time. He lives here. You have to go to school in eight hours. Yes, young man. Eight you have to go to school. hours. Yeah, eight hours. This is, this is, this is how you get prepared yeah. for school. Mm. Yeah. Breakfast of champions. Hey, hey. Must be the money. All right, let's go ahead and rate this. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 7.5. Uh, Tightly drinkable, um, easy going. Um, price isn't too bad, about 10.99 for a six pack. Um, I don't mm. get a ton of coconut in there. It's it's not super prominent, so if you're not big into coconut, you probably won't notice much of it. It's not like suntan lotion like we had earlier. That was <laughs> oh god, that's very terrible. sweet and incredibly fake coconut. This is not. I, I like this. I like this a whole lot more. This is uh, a lot more subtle. You gonna rate it? Uh, it's gonna be a number, right? Uh, it is gonna be a number. More than likely, one through ten, somewhere in there. Ooh. I think I'm gonna give this a six and a half. This is a good beer. Um, this is not the greatest beer, but it is definitely the best coconut flavored beer I've ever had. Of all two. For right of them. now, yes. Of all two of the coconut flavored beers, this is winning easily, way ahead of the other one. I'm going with the six and a half. I'm in love with the cocoa. I hate you so much for right, just right. just right now. You're welcome. Anyway, no, um, oh, you can't throw worth shit, bitch. Please, you went too close. You know, it's it's darker, and you think it wouldn't be as refreshing as light as it is, but it it's it's really nice, um, drinkable beer. And you got that little coconut, which I didn't have the other coconut beer that they had, so this is the only coconut beer experience I've had, and so far it's a good start. You know I'm, I'm excited for these other ones. You're honestly. not missing out on anything. You you can Did just it taste not. Like cocoa water? You can just not that do that. Issue? No, no, no it, it, was a, it was an Arita. Uh, it tasted the, like it tasted issue. like coconut candy to the 
tenth degree. Coconut suntan disgusting. lotion again. Yeah, it was very suntan lotiony. Uh, I rec- like I said, I recommend if you like brown ales. So yeah, the light brown ales. All right, well, that's our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down there. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Special K. I'm Radar. And I'm Amigo. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Don't go to uh, us.